How's it going, guys? It's Hansi Adate here with Sonic Bids, and uh, we're with X Ambassadors. Guys, how's it going? Going good. It's going right. good. Sweet, sweet, sweet. So um, I saw you guys just released the Reasons EP in um, April. Congratulations on that. Uh, Production-wise, your music has like a nice blend of uh, genres from like hip hop to alternative. You guys even got some like Americana, like folk yeah. swag going on there. Um, so how did you guys find? How do you guys find like a balance in order to make the music um, that you do? Well, you know, we all just kind of work in the most organic ways possible. And, and, you know, when we approach songwriting, we usually start, honestly, with the rhythm because, you know, we all have hip hop and R&B backgrounds. You know, that's the first music that we really all kind of attach to as kids. So that's usually where we start. And then we just kind of go from there and feel it out. We, we want to make things interesting constantly, you know, and, and uh, a big part of what we love about hip hop is is that you know with, in terms of the production what's cool and what's fresh and what's new is something that's combining all these different genres like you have like a jazz breakbeat with like a klezmer sample you know with like uh, you know a, a Marvin Gaye like chopped up sample in there too so it's combining all these different genres and putting them all together and that's kind of what we want to do too, you know dope 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 so you know continuing on the track of production um how did you meet alex the kid um and start working with him what's that story i know that he worked with artists such as like Nicki minaj dre yeah. eminem rihanna um so yeah well so we uh we had a song that was on the radio down south and the lead singer uh from imagine dragons dan reynolds uh heard the band down there and showed the band to alex who's their producer and uh, Alex really loved it, and, and we got on a phone call together in New York and talked a little bit about his label and about what they're doing and what they're all about. And then I met with him in London. I got him really drunk, and he doesn't <laughs> usually drink. I got him really drunk. And uh, yeah, we just talked about music all night. And, uh, and then we went into the studio like a couple weeks afterwards, and, and we wrote Love Songs, Drug Songs, and Stranger. Um, and it was like in two weeks that we had those two songs and then we did the rest of the EP with them and it was just so organic, man. From that point on, it was like, this is the dude. So, yeah. You know, continuing on the production um, side, you know, I know you guys are signed to uh, Kid in a Corner, which is a pretty pretty sick label. You know, they have a huge roster of um, artists. You know, I heard like, you know, Skylar Gray. So you even work at Eminem actually last year um, with yeah. that track, Wicked Ways. But we did work with him. We did work with him uh, on, on the song called Wicked Ways and... And it was cool. I mean, it was it was really like a. I didn't know what the project was when I was working on it. Alex had me lay down this hook over one of his beats, and he wouldn't tell me anything about it. And he he's just like I would, I would ask and ask him, be like, don't worry about it, don't worry about it. And then uh, and then he calls me up one night, and he's like, yo, I got I gotta play you something. I gotta play you something. I'm like, what? Play, send it to me. He's like, no, nah, no, nah, I gotta play it over the phone. <laughs> and I was like, all right, yeah. okay, fine. And so he plays, starts the track, and I hear my voice, and I hear the beat, and then I start hearing Eminem rapping. And I was like, oh, this is crazy. <laughs> it was like all my middle school dreams like yeah. come true like all in one moment. It was cool. But, you know, being a part of Kid in a Corner is, is awesome. You know, Alex is on the creative side and on the business side of things. So, you know, he and I, on the A&R side of things, yeah. rather. So we talk about everything, you know directly you know there's there's no middleman and it's it makes things so much more efficient and and uh we just get work done man and you know he puts me to work he puts all of us to work you know he's constantly calling us and asking us what's next and like what are we working on now and uh, you know it's 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 really crazy it's but it's great man and he is like such an inspiration how, how, like how do you guys work Consider, you know does does he live in london or he no he lives in la uh we work on the road you know like i i have my all my laptop and my apogee and all my all my stuff over there uh and uh that's how we do a lot of our a lot of our production stuff it's it's on the road in the van in hotels you know in our apartments and um, we get into a studio whenever we're in a place for long enough, you know, but for the most part, it's, you know, now musicians have the ability to create right in the moment, you know, and, uh, and that's really an exciting thing. It's a tool that we've been using a lot lately. So sweet, sweet, sweet. Um, so your new song jungle off the yeah. reasons EP that, that song has been blowing up. Congratulations on that one. Um, so I saw that you guys were also on the trailer for Orange is the New Black, yeah. Supernatural. Even uh, Paramount Pictures is even going to feature you guys in, um, that, in that trailer. You know, Shining was used in Need for Speed. Mm -hmm. um, so 
like that's really big. So how is it, how has the reception been so far to this EP um, compared to your last one, uh, Love Songs, Drug Songs? It's great. I mean, it's funny because like the two came out almost a year apart, but it it feels like we put them out almost at the same time, you know, like because people are just starting to discover who we are. So you know, they're going to both EPs and checking them out. Response has been good though. You know, we are really really proud of this of the reason. Uh, it's it's a very personal um, EP for us and it's a very you know we're yeah we worked really hard on it again it was the type of thing where we did it all on the road and it's 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 kind of about um, a lot of things that you know from a songwriter's perspective a lot of it was about things that I'm really afraid of you know and I wanted to kind of face those fears you know about like failure and you know that that kind of stuff and are rising above that and moving on so would you say that's right on track with the first ep or is it a little bit different like um how do they differ i think it's a little bit of a departure the first one is is more of a sonic exploration and this was kind of more of an exploration and what what could we really talk about you know Got you. um so is there a new direction uh you see you guys um going in with your sound like is there a new direction you guys see or are you guys going to keep it pretty much on this, because I know you guys differed from the first EP a little bit, just a little bit, not too much. But uh, you know, do you do you see yourself, you know, the third time around, maybe an album, you know, whatever, whatever the next venture you guys have, do you guys see yourselves differing that much? From just, just bigger and better, you know. That's it. That's all. We, that's all we can do. We just got to keep writing. You know, our our style is inherently kind of different mm-hmm. all the time. Yeah. So uh, we just got to keep making stuff that we're excited about, and as long as we're doing that, then we're doing it right. So. Sweet. So um, lastly, uh, is there anything that we should be looking out for? Anything for the fans out there to be looking out for, uh, you know, in the next few months? Just, you know, stay tuned. We got a lot of really great shows coming up. We're playing Firefly Festival this summer, Bunbury Festival, uh, a couple others. Uh, we got some tour dates that are up on our website and on our Instagram and Twitter and everything. Um, we got some music videos coming out soon. We're working on one for Jungle right now. It's Jungle featuring Jamie and Commons. It's it's. Dude, it's such a track. We're really proud of it. And Jamie is like, he's also another kid in the corner uh, artist, and he is absolutely incredible. The voice like no other. It's it's really it's awesome. Yeah, man. Yeah. Cool, yeah. All right, man. Well, thank you, thank you, X Ambassadors, thank Sonic you, Bids fans. My name is Hansi Adate once again. I'm joining you guys with Sonic Bids, and I'm here with X Ambassadors here at the Sinclair in Boston. Uh, we're turning up. Ooh. See you soon. Yes, dude. Yes. yes.